At the Vovchansk aggregate plant, up to two dozen of the enemy were taken prisoner, several dozen were destroyed. Also, four occupiers tried to leave the plant and were neutralized already on the perimeter of the plant, said a scout with the call sign Viking. Ukrainian military intelligence units regained control over the Vovchansk aggregate plant, Ukrainian authorities said in a statement. The fight lasted a little more than a week. The liberation of the Vovchansk aggregate plant marked the first operation of its kind by Ukrainian forces since the start of the full-scale war. Ukrainian defenders successfully stormed the site, which had been heavily fortified, according to Alexander Fortuna, chief of staff of the Russian Volunteer Corps. It was a fairly complex operation. As far as I know, this was the first operation of the full-scale war where a joint special forces unit successfully stormed a site of this level. Typically, this type of mission is more suited for regular infantry brigades with artillery support, he said. The military explained that the aggregate plant in Vovchansk was essentially a massive fortress, highly fortified and difficult to approach, with full visibility from the air. Due to its strategic importance, it was suggested that specialists from the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine and RDK fighters be assigned to the task. The majority of the enemy forces near the plant were eliminated. Some Russian troops were captured, although I won't provide exact numbers. Let's say it was over 10 people, added the RDK chief of staff. He further noted that the aggregate plant was one of the few locations in the area capable of serving as a full-fledged outpost or staging ground for further advances south of Vovchansk. The city itself has few such locations due to the heavy destruction caused by Russian forces during their assault. As of today, the aggregate plant was the most heavily fortified, well-defended, and challenging site to storm, yet the easiest to defend from the enemy's perspective. Only three to four similar strongholds remain in the city, but they are less fortified, I believe the Ukrainian armed forces will advance and capture these positions, fully reclaiming Vovchansk, said Alexander Fortuna. He downplayed rumors of extensive hand-to-hand -hand combat at the factory, calling them exaggerated. There was one isolated incident when a member of the 45th Brigade apparently lost his firearm, hid in the darkness, and attacked a younger Special Forces member with a knife. He injured our comrade but was neutralized. There were rumors that the 45th Brigade, Russia's airborne special forces, was present at the factory. There weren't many of them, but this incident did occur, explained the RDK representative. The situation in the Kharkiv region between Kupiansk and Borovaya has deteriorated significantly. The Russian armed forces are advancing towards the borovaya kupiansk road, which is the main logistics route in this area. The enemy troops are already in the area of the village of Kruglyakovka, where there is a fork in both roads on both banks of the Oskol. If the Russian armed forces bring reserves here, this could lead to a breakdown in logistics and very bad consequences for the army of Ukraine. The Russian army continues its intensive attacks in the Donbass region of Ukraine. Deep State says that during the last day, the Russians managed to advance in the territory of seven settlements, especially in the vicinity of Uglodar and Toritsk. The enemy has advanced near New York, Sukurini, Gurnik, Vadian, Uglodar, Prechestivka and Toritsk, the Ukrainian portal writes. British intelligence reports that the Russian invaders have advanced in the northeastern part of the Kharkiv region and want to reach the eastern bank of the Oskil River. This is stated in the message of the Ministry of Defense of the United Kingdom. In the Ukrainian northeastern region of Kharkiv, Russian forces have advanced westwards from Pishchain village. They now occupy a small salient 3.5 kilometers from the Oskil River. 
It is likely that Russian forces aim to reach the eastern bank of the Oskol River to use as a natural defensive barrier and set conditions for future operations, the message reads. At the same time, the agency notes, the main goal of Russian troops remains Pokrovsk in the east of Ukraine. It is claimed that the aggressor state Russia has with a high probability captured the towns of Hrdivka, east of Pokrovsk, and Ukrainsk, south of the city. Russian forces remain approximately 8 kilometers from Pokrovsk. Ukrainian reinforcements, urban areas, and Ukrainian defenses structures have likely contributed to slowing Russia's advance on the Axis in the past week, British intelligence added.